Hello everyone out there in YouTube land. Hope everyone's having a great and fantastic day. Today I have something very exciting to share with people. Um, um, and the difference in what to look for between the newer models that they make now from Japan and the, vent the vintage uh, older models. Uh, what are the differences in the two? Today we're talking about the Pulse engine tachometer. And this one here. It's the part number right there. It's the PET-1000. As you can see by the box, definitely looks beat up. But this is the vintage original one. As you can see, it's very old. It's very, very... Uh, uh, but this is the one that you want. You want to find the old ones like this. You don't want the new ones made today. Um, because the new ones made today, are, um, you can't change the batteries out on them. The batteries are soldered inside, so you can't replace it. Um, so this is why the vintage one is very good to have. As you can see, this is the Echo. Okay. I already screwed out the six screws in the back, as you can see in the holes. I already screwed it out. Um, and this is why you want this vintage one. And not the newer ones that are made today um, from Opama. This is the vintage one. So when you screw this out, they made this design, the old school one, that when you take this off, you can replace the battery. You see? Battery comes right out. And you put in a new one when this battery gets old. Okay, and then you put your case back on, and you screw in the six screws. That's the way they make the old ones. So this is the one that you want to look for. Try to get your hands on this guy right here. The old vintage ones are the ones that you can change out the batteries on. On the Echo RPM test readers. Um, the newer ones today that you find, um, they don't have it that you can, um, check out the battery and put a new battery in. So that's a sad because for uh, over a hundred dollars for these things, which they're expensive, um, for the battery to die on it and you got to throw it away. It's pretty, pretty sad. But the old school ones like this one right here, the old model ones. They're meant that you can take out the battery and and change it out. So I got real lucky to find this one here. Um, it was uh, used, but it was considered to be new old stock because it's brand new. Um, I paid 60 bucks for this one on eBay. Um, and this one is the model that can be changed out the batteries. When they get uh, worn out, you take out the battery. The new stuff today is $125, $150. I've seen them $185 for those. Um, you can't replace the batteries on them. That's the way they make it now. So this is the one that you want to try to find. You want to find even the box. I mean, if you look at the PET-1000 on the internet, even the box doesn't look like this. This is the old vintage one. See, this is the one that you, you want. If you get your whole, uh, your hands on one of these, you want to try to find one that the box looks like this. You don't want the box the way they make them now. Because any the PET-1000 now online, those are the ones that you cannot replace the battery. So that's sad. Over a hundred and something dollars you're going to spend on that. And you can't replace the battery. So when I went shopping for this, after reading reviews and stuff, I heard about there was an older model that you can replace the batteries. So, like I said, I got lucky. I was digging around for a couple of weeks, and I saw a seller selling this one right here. And sure enough, as you could see with my screwdrivers, you have to use a very, very, very pristine screwdriver tip um, 
to be able to get these screws. That's how tiny they are. But once you get them out, which are very easy, it's just six screws. And you open it up, bam, there's your there's your battery right there. And I was in love. I said, all right. So now this thing can last me a long time. Another thing to look out for too. How do you know that you got this model? Even if you don't, if the seller or you find someone that's selling one that doesn't have the box. What you want to look for. Um, let me open the box for you here. Inside the box. These are the, uh, the I wouldn't say antennas, but. You know, if you don't want to hold that to the RPM like that, you can use this part as well. The new ones they make now, this part right here, um, they make it where, and that's how you know you got the newer one. You got to like get the tip of this, the very end, and like bend it. They want you to bend it like, you know, and I don't want to bend this wire. And then in a the corner right here, you have to like slide it in and it comes out right here. And then you can test whatever you want to test. Well, the older model, which is the one I have, this is what's on the end of it. Hmm? I don't know if you can see that very well. Forgive the focus. It's not quite up to par here. But it's just a plug. Let me see if I can zoom in on that. Forgive me, man. But the plug is the one that you want. If you find one that has this plug style, which on the side, you can see the hole. So you just plug this right in. Click. That's the one that you want. So when you look for one of these, you want to make sure that you find the one that you can plug. If you have a plug effect like this, then you have the older model one, which is the great one. That's the one you want that you can replace the battery on these. So that's some of the things to look for um, when you're looking for one of these uh, RPM tachometers. So hopefully this helped everyone. Um, forgive me, the picture wasn't that clear. I did this at the spare of the moment, so I just wanted to share that with everyone. So thanks for looking at the video. Have a blessed day. Any questions, leave comments on the bottom. And um, be safe out there. And um, have a blessed day. Thanks for looking. Later.